Tim. Hi, I'm Stevie. Hi, I'm Lauren. And, and together, together, we're High Five! Yeah! yeah! <laughs> G'day, I'm Firefighter Stevie, and thanks for having me at preschool. See this big truck? We call it a fire engine. It's got Big, round, heavy tyres for keeping the truck straight on the road. Oh, and we've got this long, long, long ladder for reaching up a nice and tall. And we have a long hose for spraying water onto fire. Pretty cool, hey? Yeah! Let's go! Firefighter is awesome. And last week, I had a really, really exciting firefighting adventure. Now, I'm going to show you what happened using my very own Mini-Me. G'day, I'm Mini-Me Stevie. Yeah. <laughs> so, one day, I was driving along in my truck when I got the call. Attention, Firefighter Stevie, there's been an emergency. An emergency? Yes, an emergency. Well, I'm on my way. So, I drove in my truck right up to the tower, where I found a puppy dog trapped on top. <laughs> Poor puppy. I knew I had to rescue him, but how? I knew I had to think of all the things that firefighters could do. Don't worry, puppy dog. Stevie the firefighter is on his way. So, to rescue the puppy dog, I made the ladder as long as it could go. Up, 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 up right up to the tower. Right up to where the puppy dog was trapped. Don't worry, puppy dog. I'm on my way. So, I climbed up the ladder. Up, 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 up. Right up to the puppy dog and I reached out. Oh? and grabbed the puppy dog. 
And then I climb back down the ladder. Uh, down, 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 down. Down to where the fire engine was. Whew! It was the most exciting firefighting adventure ever. And do you want to know why? It's because the puppy dog I rescued that day became my own firefighting puppy dog, Smokey. And from that day on, Smokey and I had lots of firefighting adventures together! a firefighter and maybe one day some of you will grow up to be firefighters too. Yeah! for fire girl? Well, here I am, ready to put out the fire. All I need is my trusty hose and, of course, some water. Well, hmm, pack my hose up. Wine, 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 wine. Hose is all packed. Hang on, did someone call for fire girl? I'm on my way. If you need fire, girl, just call. sorting all the books. The preschool is coming to visit the library today. They just love these picture books. Chop, chop! Oh, look! Someone is returning a book they borrowed from the library. And it's an adventure book too. Well, I've got to sort all these books and put them back on the shelves. Three shelves. One, two and three. There, all sorted. We've got small books at the top, medium books in the middle, and big books at the bottom. Cha-cha! <coughs> oh, look, three more books to sort. And they're all medium sized too. And they're all adventure books. Hey, someone must really love adventure books. Here. Oh, it doesn't look right. There are way too many medium-sized books on this shelf and there are not enough small and big books on the other shelves. Cha -cha! Huh? You guessed it, another adventure book. Hey, you know, there are enough adventure books for their own shelf. That's what I can do. I can sort them in a different way. Adventure books on the top, 
animal books in the middle and fairy tale books at the bottom. <laughs> Welcome to the library. It's a building filled with books. Books with pictures, books with words. They're everywhere you look. Come inside and have thing to do and there all sorted we've got adventure books animal books and fairy tale books there's something for everyone yeah. <gasps> just in time too the visitors are here Librarian Lauren here. I'm just sorting out these returned books. Have to find what part of the library they belong to. Books, books, books I adore. All different kinds of books below. Books, books, books I adore. <gasps> Magical fairy tales. Well, I guess that belongs in the fairy tale section. Books, books, books I adore. All different kinds of books galore. Books, books, books I adore. Oh, the animal book. Animal fun in the jungle. <laughs> well, I think that goes back to the animal section. Last book. Books, books, books I adore. All different kinds of books galore. Books, books, books I adore. Aha! Big adventures. <laughs> well, I'm going to put that straight back in the adventure section. All done. at Piggy Preschool. Hey, guys, what should we play today? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't mind. Any ideas, Timmy Pig? Hmm, we could play a game or... Oh, we could make up our own nursery rhyme. Hey, that'd be great. Well, there's five of us, so we could make something up like... Oh, five little pigs! Oh, can we sing it? Sure, let's give it a try. This little piggy loves games. And this little piggy loves cheese. And this little piggy wants to sing. And this little piggy wears blue. And this little piggy plays his trumpet. Toot, 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 toot. All the way home. Yeah! Oh, wow, that was so much fun. But can we play instruments too? Oh, yeah! Well, I want to play something loud. Bang, 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 bang! What about that drum and drumstick? You can play that loud. Ooh! Great! I want to play something too. I like twangy sounds. OK. Well, oh, you can play this guitar. Oh, yeah! I love guitars! Thanks. Mm. Yeah? Can I please play something that makes a plinky plonky sound? Oh, yeah, sure thing. Well, hey, you could play this toy piano here. It makes a great plinky plonky sound. <laughs> huh. Perfect. 
So that just leaves Casey Pig and me. Hmm. Well, I'd really like to hum. Oh, mm. that's great, because I'd like to play my trumpet and march around. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this little piggy has a guitar and this little piggy has a drum. <laughs> this little piggy plays piano and this little piggy likes to hum. Hmm. And this little piggy plays his trumpet. <laughs> All the way home! Oh, this is a great nursery rhyme. Okay, guys, let's put it together. This little piggy plays guitar, and this little piggy has a drum. This little piggy plays piano, and this little piggy likes to hum. And this little piggy plays his trumpet. All the way home. Three rhyme for five little piggies. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Stevie, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm just going skipping with some of my friends. You're supposed to be skipping with a skipping rope, not tying yourself up. Oh. Looks like Stevie needs another Fitbit tip. Yeah! 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 Now, our Fitbit tip is to... Jump like a kangaroo! Jump like a kangaroo? Yeah, 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 we put our feet together. Yep. Yeah, and then we jump. Ready? Go. Bing, jump, bing, jump, bing. Hey, um, uh, Tim, why are we jumping like a kangaroo? Oh, trust me, it'll make sense. Okay, boy, boy. Now we pick up our skipping rope. over our heads, we jump like a... we went on a preschool trip, we got one with our name on it. Yeah, I've saved all my badges from all the trips we took. <laughs> <laughs> those trips. They were such adventures. <sighs> hey, is that the bus to the zoo, Casey? Well, I don't know, chats. Well, this badge of mine says zoo and it has a picture of an elephant on it. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, and that bus has the picture of a fire truck on it. Oh, yeah. And it says fire station, just like on this badge here. The fire station? Oh, that would be a fantastic trip! <laughs> yeah, but chats, we want the bus to go to the zoo today. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <gasps> is that the zoo bus, Casey? Is it, is it, is it? Well, I don't know, chats. Does it have a picture of an elephant on it? Hmm. Oh, if it is an elephant, it's pretty skinny. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> well, I don't think it's an elephant, chats. I think it's a dinosaur skeleton, just like on this batch here. Oh, yeah! A dinosaur from long ago. Hmm. Hey, this must be the bus to the museum. Oh, yeah, and it says museum right there. Oh, but chats, we don't want to go for a trip to the museum today. <laughs> <laughs> All aboard, come get on the bus. Not much longer, chats. Look! Oh. An elephant! I can see an elephant! Yep, 
and it says zoo, just like on my badge. Oh, can we get on board, Casey? Can we, can we, can we, can we? Can we? Yep, we sure can, chat. Oh, the zoo bus! Wow, that was one cool trip. Yeah, that was preschool fun! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a special zoo taxi driver. I pick up animals on their way to the zoo. Off to the zoo for the day. Off to the zoo to see the animals at play. Off to the zoo, come on everyone. Can't wait to get the should be fun. Ha! Ah, first stop. Hello lion, I see you're all ready for your day at work. All aboard! I see you're ready for your day at the zoo. All aboard! Off to the zoo for the day. Off to the zoo to see the animals at play. Off to the zoo, come on everyone. Can't wait to get the should be fun. Ha, huh, here we go. On our way to the zoo. Bye! <coughs> <coughs> Remember to keep an eye out for our hidden treasure. It's an orange traffic cone, and we'll show you where it is at the end of the story. Now, out in the countryside, there were three wonderful farm machines who were always busy. Hi, I'm you, and I've got a load of hay. Hi, I'm Loda, and I'm off to shift some dirt. Chug, chug, chug. Oh, and I'm I've got a load to pull. We live down on the farm, and if you see us, give away. We love our work, it's lots of fun, and we'll work until the job is done. We're big and we're noisy, and although we're slow, we're the kind. But one day, Tractor suddenly stopped. Oh! You know what? Oh, what, Tractor? I think we need to take a break. Chug, chug, chug. It's lunchtime already. No, no, no. I mean a long break, like a holiday. We just have to decide where. Ding! I know. A trip to the city would be a great adventure. Let's go! Three farm friends set off on an exciting visit to the city. Oh, wow, look at all those amazing skyscrapers! Chug, chug, chug! Ha! Huh. And traffic lights. Fancy that! Oh! And I've never seen so many cars in all my life! <laughs> oh, oh! Too many cars! No time for dancing in the street, guys! Get a wriggle on! The light's green! Go, go, go! Over there. Great idea! I could do some tractoring. Oh! Yeah, and I'd love to shift something. A chug, chug, chug! <laughs> Whoa! Are you guys still here blocking up the road? Oh, that's okay. We're just heading to the paddock over there, where we feel much more at home. Paddock? Huh. You mean Big City Park? You guys must be from out of town. Hey, ya! I'm Swifty. Hi, Swifty. Hi, Swifty. Yeah, we're on holiday from the farm. But we just seem to be getting in the way. Whoop! Light screen! Gotta go! Beep, 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 beep. Whoop. Oh. And remember, guys, no cars in the park. That means all of us, including you. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, oh. <sighs> hey, come on, guys. 
We don't belong here. Let's go home. But just as they were heading out of the city, they discovered a tree had fallen across the road. Beep, 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 beep. Ah! Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I'm in a terrible rush and I can't be swifty with a big log in the middle of the road. Oh, ah. Well, this is where us farm friends can help. We'll clear it up for you. Come on, you. Come on, Loda. Let's go. We live down on the farm and if you see us, give away. Swifty and all the cars in the city clapped and cheered. And Swifty even promised to visit the farm and not be in such a hurry when she did. So did you spot the orange traffic cone? Yep, there it is. Well done. OK, guys, let's head over there for another song. <laughs>
Tim. Hi, I'm Feli. Hi, I'm Lauren. Hi, I'm Stevie. <laughs> and together, we're High Five! Yeah! Stevie Elf here, getting ready for my first day of work in the Fairy Shape Shop. The Fairy Shape Shop is the place to go for shapes that are round or square or pointy, shapes that shine and shapes that glow. The Fairy Shape Shop is the place to go. Listen carefully, Elfies. Here comes our very first fairy customer. Woohoo! <coughs> oh, hi. I'm Fairy Lauren. I was wondering, can you please help me with the fairy shape I need? Well, I certainly can. Fairy shapes are what we do best here at the Fairy Shape Shop. Huh. I'd like a fairy ring, please. A fairy ring? Well, it might just take me a moment to find a ring shape. OK, I'll dance around while I'm waiting. OK. Now, a ring shape. Well, we've got lots of different shapes here. Hmm. Now, a ring is round like a circle. So Fairy Lauren must want a ring for her finger. And we've got one right here. A beautiful fairy ring. Oh, here you go, Fairy Lauren. Ah, well, it's very sparkly. Yeah. And it's a nice round ring shape, but I was hoping for something even bigger. Bigger? Right. Well, I'm sure we can find you a bigger fairy ring, Lauren. OK, I'll dance around these shapes while I'm waiting. Hmm. Now a bigger ring shape. Let's see. Oh, here we go. This is a ring shape. And it's definitely bigger than the other one. Here we go, Fairy Lauren, I've done it. A big fairy ring just for you. Oh, it's lovely, Stevie Elf, mm. but I need a ring that's even bigger. But this is a lot bigger than the other one. It is, Stevie Elf, but I need one that's even bigger. Big enough to dance in. Big enough to dance in? Oh, well, I might need to make a really big ring shape then. <gasps> a special order just for you, Fairy Lauren. Oh, that'd be lovely. Can you make it out of flowers? Wow, a fairy ring made of sparkly flowers. What a great idea. Elf magic. <gasps> wow. Oh. <laughs> the fairy shape shop is the place we go. The shapes that are round and square are pointy. Shapes that shine and shapes that glow. The fairy shape shop is the place to go. Yeah! There you go, Fairy Lauren. A beautiful fairy ring made of flowers. Oh, thank you, Stevie Elf. It's beautiful. <laughs> some fairy dancing. Got this new magical fairy ring. Step inside and I'm ready to dance. Dancing in a fairy circle too? Come on! Give you 
Tooth Fairy Dentist. Hello, Crocodile. Are you ready for your checkup? Open up your mouth for me. Yes, open nice and wide. It's time for me to check your teeth. I'll take a peek inside. Now this tooth's wibbly wobbly. It'll fall out any day. And that's when the old Tooth Fairy me comes to take your tooth away. Brushes. Hey, let's choose one for you to take home. We've got small, medium and large. I think a large toothbrush is perfect for your spiky teeth. Chop, chop! Oh, look! It's a spiky box that matches your spiky teeth <laughs> to put your wobbly tooth in when it falls out. Now, remember, you've got to brush your teeth and I will be back to collect your wobbly tooth really, really soon. There. <gasps> My next patient, Horse. Do you have any new teeth to show me? Now open up your mouth for me. Yes, open nice and wide. It's time for me. I've only got a small toothbrush and a medium toothbrush left. I think a medium toothbrush is great for a horse. Not too big, not too small. Chop, chop! <gasps> Look! It's a box shaped like a horseshoe for your wobbly tooth. Now, I'll just pop you up here. Perfect. My last patient, Rabbit. <laughs> Are you still eating your veggies? They're good for your teeth, you know. Now open up your mouth for me. Yes, open nice and wide. It's time for me to check your teeth. I'll take a peek inside. Ah, oh, this is wibbly wobbly. It'll fall out. Lucky last, one small toothbrush. Perfect for a small rabbit mouth. Chop, chop! Oh, look. It's a box shaped like a carrot. Perfect for you, rabbit. We'll put your wobbly tooth in there when it falls out. Now, perfect. Well, I'll see you all in your wobbly teeth really soon. Bye! Chop Chop Fairy Hopper! <laughs>
I wish I had a big juicy carrot. My wish came true. A big juicy carrot. Ah, lucky me. <laughs> Elf here with my musical barrow. They call me the sound tinkerer. I tinker with sounds I do. If you need a sound to match your day, I'll do my best for you. Big sounds, small sounds, I'll find the one, yes it's true. If you need a sound to match your day, I'll do my best for you. Here we go. Oh, hey, Casey Troll, how you doing? Oh, not so well today, Timmy Elf. I'm trying to find the right kind of troll sound for my stomping. Oh, a stomping troll sound. Yeah. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> oh, I know. Here we go, Casey Troll. Try this. Oh. oh, thanks, Timmy. I love my new stomping troll sound. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think everyone will hear Casey Troll coming. <gasps> oh, oh, Felly Fairy, I didn't hear you arrive. Oh, that's just it, Timmy. My fairy wand has lost its magical sound. Oh, gee, that's not very good. Don't worry, we'll find you a new sound. <gasps> That'd be great. Oh, how about these tinkly bells? <gasps> They're beautiful. Soft and tinkly, just like bells. <laughs> They're the perfect match. Thanks, Timmy. Whoa! Oh, hi, oh. Timmy. Oh, hi, Stevie Dragonfly. You look a bit sad. Yeah, well, all the other dragonflies' wings make a magical sound when they fly, but mine don't make any sound. Oh, don't worry, Stevie Dragonfly. We'll find a new sound for your wings. Cool. Um, oh! Let's try this. Oh, yeah, that's great! Here, you have a go, Stevie Dragonfly. Oh, oh, wow! Thanks, Timmy. You're the best sound tinkerer in all of the forest. Thank you. They call me the sound tinkerer. I tinker with sound I do. If you need a sound to match your day, What a magical sound. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What is going on here? <laughs> oh, Tim, we're being trees in the wind. I can see that. That's great trees. Yeah. Hey, why don't we try the yoga tree pose? Yeah. You keen for that? Yeah! All right, let's have another Fitbit tip. Yeah! The yoga tree pose is great for balancing. We put our heel up against our ankle, one leg, and then once we get really good at that, we lift it up. And once we're comfortable there, we put our hands together like this, and we grow like a tree! The yoga tree pose.
you would never believe what happened to me today. Yeah. First, oh, I slipped on a banana peel. <laughs> then I fell in a mud puddle. <laughs> I'm just not feeling very fairy-like at all. <laughs> I'm a magical creature with fairy wings. A beautiful fairy tutu and a song that I like to sing. I'm a magical creature. your face kind of makes you look like a messy, magical, muddy troll. A troll? Yeah, you could be the messy, muddy troll of Murky Mist Manor. The messy, muddy troll of Murky Mist Manor? Aww. Oh, oh, Case, what's happened to your beautiful tutu? <laughs> well, chat, after I fell in the mud puddle, mm? I went to the bathroom to wash my face and my tutu got caught in the door and ripped. Oh, well, actually, Casey, that torn tutu kind of makes you look like another troll. A raggedy troll of rotten rot ridge. Well, chats, this raggedy creature's feeling really rotten mm. because after I ripped my tutu, mm -hmm. I tried to fix it. <sighs> and while I was spinning around like this, my pineapple juice was sitting right here on the table. Oh, no! Did you spill pineapple juice on your wing? <laughs> yeah, I did. And now they're all sticky and soggy. Oh, hi! Those soggy wings remind me of another troll. Another troll? Yep, the soggy troll of Stinky Slime Swab. Wow, you sure know a lot about trolls, chat. Yeah, I've been reading about them. Trolls oh. have such terrific names, like the Tanglehead Troll of Tummy Tickle Tower. Well, I definitely feel like a tangled-haired troll today. Look at my hair. It's such a tangly mess. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a magical creature with fairy wings, a beautiful fairy tutu, and a song that I like to sing. I'm a magical creature. Magnificent? What? Mud on my face, a torn tutu, mm? sticky, soggy wings and tangled hair. Yep, and that makes you the muddy, raggedy, soggy, tangle-haired Casey Troll! Oh, yeah! That does make me a magical creature, doesn't it? Yep. Well, you know what? You're pretty magical too, chat. You just turned this grumpy fairy into a happy troll! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Dolly's hair is in a bit of a tangle today, so I'm going to brush out all the nuts. First, I'll try a squirt of detangler. It's best to start brushing from the bottom and work your way up. There's nothing nice about nuts. That's one side done, now for the other side.
hidden treasure today is something rather magical. It's a pink butterfly. Now make sure you look carefully in the story and see if you can spot it. But first... Once upon a time in Fairyland, there was a fairy called Finn. And Finn was waiting to get his wings. Oh no, I still don't have my wings. You just have to be patient, Finn. It'll happen one day. You'll get your wings when the time is right. Remember, I only got mine yesterday. Oh, fairy friends, forever we will be. Fairy wings, when will you come to me? We can fly to the skies, we're lighter than air. We can fly with the wind without a care. If we dream, then our dreams will come true. It happened to me. before you got your wings? Well, I was having a lovely dream and when I woke up, they were there. When I got my wings, I was out in the forest on an adventure. Hmm. My wings appeared when I was fixing the gate. Well, maybe if I try all those things, my wings will appear too. So Finn went off with Nolan on an adventure, hoping to get his wings. We have climbed the highest mountain. And we have sailed around the world. Oh, Nolan, I think I feel something happening. Are my wings there yet? Um, uh, no, not yet. <sighs> Next, Finn went to help Oriana fix the fence to see if that would get him his wings. Whew, that was hard work. Mm, good hammering though, Finn. Are my wings there yet? Uh, no, not yet. Finally, Finn sat with Keely and tried to dream to get his wings. Now, breathe in all the good feelings and then breathe out all the bad feelings. <sighs> That's good. OK, now in your mind, see white fluffy clouds. Oh, oh fluffy clouds. <laughs> OK, think happy thoughts and let your mind dream. <sighs> Shh, he's asleep. Oh, 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 hello. I was having a lovely dream. Are my wings there yet? No, no not, not yet, yet Finn. Finn. Right then, I've decided in front of you all here right now that I'm not going to talk about my wings again. I know they will come eventually, but until then, I just have to be patient. So, I'm going to be really, really, really patient. No, you can't change my mind. I'm being patient. But Finn! No, no, I'm going to wait and wait and wait for a very long time. But, but Finn, you don't, don't have to wait. wait. Oh, my wings, my wings. <laughs> I finally got my wings. What are we waiting for? Let's fly. Yeah! yeah. So Finn finally got his fairy wings. Remember, good things come to those who wait. So, did you spot the pink butterfly? There it is. Good job. All right, come on, fairies. Let's fly over there for another song. Yeah! <laughs>